That's Mercy, Mercy, Mercy by Joe Zawinul. You should check out the original recording. It was done with the Cannonball Adderley Quintet. It has a great spoken word monologue by Cannonball at the beginning. Here's how you play it. I used to play this without a capo, but it involved a lot of barring and some challenging fingerings. It's not too bad on the electric guitar, but the majority of the time I play the acoustic, so I wanted to come up with an acoustic arrangement. And that's why I went to the capo to help alleviate some of the strain on the fretting hand throughout it. Right now I have the capo on the fourth fret. If you want to play the song in its original key, you need to capo the sixth fret. But I kind of like having a little bit more room to work with on the fretboard, and I also like the lower pitched key, at least for solo guitar. You want to start with an A chord, and I play it like that. I'm barring the three notes of the A chord. You could play it like that, or like that, if you're more comfortable with either of those fingerings. And for this song, it's pretty important in the way that I play it to play it finger style because I'm isolating a lot of strings and sometimes picking with up to four fingers like I am on this chord, the first chord in the song. So this A chord is an A chord but it has a E in the bass and that's the first thing you're going to do is you're going to hit that E in the bass and then there with my index, middle, and ring finger I'm picking the D, G, and B string notes. This next chord it's kind of a little piece of your standard E7 chord. The index finger is going to land on that first fret note. I'm picking the same strings as I was before on the first chord. And I just do that little delayed hammer on onto the first fret. So that's really the first thing you want to try to do. And that E is the bass note both times. One thing I like about playing finger style of guitar is you can be like a piano player and play all the notes of the chord at the exact same moment and get a sound you can't quite get with a pick. Okay, right after this, leave that finger there, bring your pinky up to the fourth fret. This is a little bit of a challenging fingering. You're going to, with your index, middle, and thumb, pick the low E with the thumb, the D with the index the G with the middle. You're going to play those three notes and then fret the second fret of the D string by itself. Sounds a little strange. So that's what we have now. Alright, now bring your middle finger to the fifth fret, I'm talking relative to the capo, and your index finger you want to bar the fourth fret, but you only need to get the notes on the A string and the D string, just those two notes. So put your energy into that, but you don't have to bar all the way down, so I'm really just trying to get those two notes with my bar finger. Same fingers as before, you're going to use the index middle ring, you're going to play all those together, and then your pinky comes up to the seventh fret relative to the capo or the eleventh actual fret. Sometimes I do that little flutter which is just releasing the fingers one at a time rather than all in unison. And then my index grabs that note on the seventh fret. That's taking that pinky off and just going back to that barred note of the fourth fret. Oops. Like that. And then bring that bar finger back two frets so now you're getting the second fret, same two strings. And then with your ring finger, the last note is that fourth fret of the D string by itself. Ring finger with the fretting hand, with the picking hand there, I use my, my middle finger. So now we've got this. This is kind of the first hook. times. 
Let me play it one more time really slowly. All right, now the next part is going to be three chords. The first one is that same E7 we've been using. The second one is the A chord with the E in the bass. And then the third one is going to be ring finger on the third fret of B, index finger on the first fret of G. Same three strings we've been picking, four strings actually, with the thumb up there on the low E still. So this part should sound something like this. You're going to go first chord, second chord, third chord. Bring it back. Sometimes I throw in that first fret hammer on. then you're kind of back into this shape which was from the other part except this time you're gonna play the second fret of D with the index finger picking twice and then take that finger off and now we're basically playing the chord from earlier pick the second fret the whole chord and then the middle finger picks the highest note of the chord once Next chord, bring your index finger up a fret, the ring finger comes to the fourth fret. You're going to pick those two strings with the index and middle and your thumb on the low E bass. Same thing there. Grab that highest note one extra time. And the next chord, index finger goes to the first fret of the D string, the pinky goes to the fourth fret of the G string, the middle to the second fret of the low E. Play all three of those together so you get Can do that one more time. All right, now your hand is almost in position to get to the next chord. It has to move up a fret. The pinky has to drop down a string to the fifth fret of B. And with your index finger, you want a bar so that you can get the second fret of A, D, and G. That one I like to do that same slow release of the fingers or somewhat of a quick release depending on how you look at it, but just letting them stagger their release. That's my ring finger down there on the B string picking the melody note a few extra times and then back to that E7 chord with the first fret hammer on. So now we get something like this. Sometimes on that one, I bring the thumb down, I just do three fingers and play the D in the bass. It doesn't really matter too much, you could do it either way. Then you do that again. Pause that time, don't do that little fill. And the last part goes like this, start with your ring finger on the second fret of A, slide up pick that note and slide up to four. Uh, kind of like that. Let those two notes be somewhat separate from one another. You want to hear that second fret? Slide it up to four and then grab the second fret of the D string. Or land in a bar if you want because here what you're going to do is you're going to pick the low E, the D, the G, and the B with these four fingers. Now that's tricky to do that bar. Sometimes people will play that chord like this, just stacking your fingers all onto the second fret. Or some people will play it like this with the ring finger barring the bottom three notes and the middle playing the top note. See what feels most comfortable for you. I bar there and I just slide into my bar. And then you're going to grab the second fret of D with the index. Uh, after that little chord hit. So hit it twice, grab the note, come up to the fourth fret, same chord there, so whatever fingering you use, just repeat it. Okay, working off that fourth fret. 
fret bar, come to the D string, and first thing you're going to do is play this little portion, which is going to be the D string 4th fret, 6th fret, and then the 4th fret of G. And then come into a B minor shape. And what you're going to do here is with these three fingers, comes into the bass note, but basically those fingers that are making that minor chord shape are just lifting on and off, and when they come off, you're picking the notes off your bar finger. So see if you can try this. And as far as where the thumb is in there, it's thumb, thumb, thumb. All right. Hopefully that has helped you get all the way there and you're already starting to play each piece of this and having fun with it. I love the song. It's one of my favorite songs. Really groovy and satisfying and soulful song to play. Healing sort of song. So I hope you really enjoy it and maybe you already knew it and loved it like I do, or maybe you've never heard it before now and are getting a chance to know a great new song. Let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything I can go back over. If you're interested, maybe I'll even throw up another video of how I played on the electric guitar with no capo in the original key. All right, have fun.